there and welcome to my second tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you how to make the PCB design of the power supply. But first, uh, you have to make sure that you have the package of every component over here. Um, I have put uh, a Rosetta, five Rosettas, uh, in order to um, get the uh, measure measure the outputs of. Uh, of, the, of, every, of each regulator over here, uh, and uh, this Rosetta, I'm, I'm using it to take the the volts from the transport, uh, the output of the transformer. So I, I will connect it over here. Uh, I have put also a LED in, uh, in after seven eight zero five and seven nine zero five. Uh, I won't put LED uh, after seven eight twelve since the Maximum voltage the leg could take uh, is seven uh, is six volts and uh, thirty milliampere. So here we go. Uh, we have to make it uh, make a device for uh, for each capacitor for uh, for the for one capacitor. I will update uh, them. As you can see, one and here and hold over there. So put it over there. I make a sign and I send a package. Yes. Yeah, I want to replace it and update it. Then you have to make sure that the package tool over everyone is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure too that you connect the positive, uh, the positive leg of the capacitor to the ground and the negative one to the right, the input for the 7 line uh, regulators. While the positive, uh, the positive uh, leg of the capacitor. You have to connect it to the um, to the to the input of the regulator. Uh, let me move on to the ground. Uh, what else? I have the res uh, resistor. I will extract it from. Yeah, this one and the LED. Choosing on those. Mm -hmm. And the uh, resistor. Okay. Uh, uh, for the second counter, I have to make a device. And this one. Hold on over here and put this one on the first one. This one, Thir 13 over the second one. This one over here, one over there. Uh, I've, I've connected the third one to the second leg since uh, the, the output I'm taking for the point of potentiometer is, uh, is on the second pin. So I've, uh, I will connect the VCC and ground uh, in, in any of those two pins. I'll send the package. Okay, and yeah, I place it and update the box. Uh, make a device also for the LED. Yeah, make the sign. You can change this one to I'll change this to yeah, I'll take this one. Yeah, pass it. Come on. Send the package. Yeah, I'll 
thank you too. So I have um, one hundred two point four inch. That's very bigger. I don't need a transformer. Uh, even more. So. Uh, what I've done, uh, oh, uh, I'll, I'll show you now. You find you will find all your all the components you had you had uh, over here, uh, over there. So you just put them put them uh, the layout on the one until you get. Um, about the track, I'm going to show you how to do okay. it. Uh, this is the netlist, that's the track you are uh, you already ordered to connect with. But the netlist is, is a default, so maybe the design rule. Uh, if you uh, it's the first time to make a PCB. So you better make a break at least sixty um, for the tra uh, tracks by and side, and make the horizontal and vertical pair of the bottom couple and the signal two the same. Then make the auto track. Yeah, here we go. Now the OPTV is ready to be printed. You want to see the visualization? Where it's, where it's, where it's, where it's, that's what it should be. And that's the tracks. Um, so you just explore the graphics. It's not the app. You just need the bottom couple and save it wherever you want. Here's, here's your PCB. Just uh, have to print it over a glossy paper or something, or uh, a thermal paper. Uh, or even you can draw it by yourself by a marker. Uh, maybe I'll show you. Uh, I won't give you how to make a PCB. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe. My channel.